I want to talk about what's going on with the whole, oh, they're separating kids at the border and families and what's happening with how the left has decided that they're going to ramp things up. And Maxine Waters has recently come out and she said, hey, man, we need to uh, stake out these people's homes and chase them from towns and businesses and whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's a serious escalation of, of what's going on. I, I spoke I, I spoke yesterday. I think it was yesterday or maybe it was the day before. can't remember. I think it was yesterday. And I had a bit of a rant, which actually that rant is what led to the idea for this. This is going to be uh, in a regular podcast. This is this isn't this is going to be whenever I feel like letting shit out. And uh, that that one yesterday is perfect for this venue in which I was basically in that one. I was actually calling out the so-called anarchists, the libertarians, the uh, people who really shouldn't have a dog in this fight as far as the 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 trump people and the anti-trump people and all the rabidness that's occurring on both sides you just you know what what why are you getting emotionally involved in this shit why are you sharing shit that uh you know is coming from people who have a decided agenda and the agenda is to whip people to a frenzy and yeah get them to support them in their their megalomaniacal plans and both sides to me are megalomaniacs so today i want to speak about the conflict that i have about watching what's happening so maxine waters is coming out and she's kind of ramping things up and there's been fruit if you will that's been born from her rhetoric where she came out and said yo man we can't can't you know we gotta go out to the dhs people and we gotta track them down and we gotta chase them out of restaurants and we gotta shun them and and stake out their homes and and uh <laughs> well it's happened it's it's already happened uh in addition to that now you have people that are threatening dhs and ice people's children they're like well if you want to separate children then we'll separate you from your children and the uh, the violent rhetoric that is occurring, it's uh, kind of scary. And Nancy Pelosi, then she came out and she was trying to walk it back. You know, you know, of course, of course, it's Trump's fault. All of this is Trump's fault. Uh, it's uh, it's Trump's rhetoric, which is leading to people wanting to take violent action against Trump and his operatives. And but still, even though even though that's the case, you know, we can't we can't do that. You know, we got to we got to rein things back. And I'm, I'm sitting back here and I'm a little conflicted. And let me tell you why I am conflicted. On one hand, I believe that it's possible. More and more, it seems, I'm going to say not likely, but more and more, it seems possible that this country, uh, this course of enterprise called the United States of America, is headed for a civil war. And it's going to be violent and uh, it's going to be dark times. And... That's not good. That's not good for me personally. I'm like, I don't know if I necessarily, you know, I, you know, it's going to mess up the football season. You know, the Eagles, they won the Super Bowl. I'm thinking, hey, they could repeat. Dude, don't do that, okay? I know that's shallow of me, you know, but I'm just being honest, okay? So that's that's the one side. And, and then the other part of it is, uh, as, as far as not liking what I see, is I see this coming from the fucking left, and when I say the left, I want to make it clear. I'm talking about the statist left. I do not think of the statist left the same way I think of the anarchist left or the libertarian left, whatever. I know some of you will say libertarian and left is an oxymoron. I don't necessarily ascribe to that view, but I'm speaking specifically to the statist left. And when I say the right, which I will, because... I don't like them either. I am referring to the statist right, not the anarchist right, okay? I'm okay with the anarchist right. I'm okay with the anarchist left. But the state on state based left and right, fuck you. Fuck both of you. But anyway, I look at the fucking leftists, the state on state based leftists and their self-righteous shit. And I and I see how they're 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 falling all over themselves and celebrities are coming up. They're 
falling all over themselves with their fucking uh, high moral rhetoric. And this is Nazi America. And this, this is such a violation of all things moral and decent. And, you know, shit that Trump is doing fucking yeah it is sad I'm, I'm i'm doing this uh for those of you watching youtube i'm doing a facebook live stream and david valentine commented said sad you had to explain that yeah i do well i have friends on here that are kind of steady on state base i want to make it clear i'm talking to them and uh, i also have friends on here who are obviously anarchists and i want to make it clear i'm not talking about them because i have left and right anarchist friends but be that as it may when i look at these fucking statist fucking leftists and the shit that they advocate for and how fucking silent they were during all of the years of Obama when he did hideous fucking shit to people all the fucking time. I mean, he was ordering assassinations of American citizens with fucking drones. No fucking warrant. No, no due process. Fucking peep from the left. I mean, by and large, I mean, there are some exceptions, but by and large, fucking peep from the left they don't care they don't care about these fucking kids coming to the united states that are being separated they don't give fuck one care with with some exceptions what they look at they see an opportunity to politically attack and demonize trump and his allies and they have they have at their control they have they have they control the fucking culture they have the media for the for for on the main. They have the media. They control the education centers uh, at all levels. They they control much of the bureaucracy at all levels. I I used to run a newspaper in in Tioga County, Pennsylvania, and a very conservative place, decidedly like overwhelmingly conservative place. But yet, you know who ran the fucking bureaucracy in Tioga County and probably still does? Fucking leftists. Status leftists, let's make it clear. Uh, so so what does what does what power does the right have right now? They have some alt media, uh, which is not nearly as powerful as as mainstream media still. I don't I don't care what you say. And and they have uh uh, they have the elected offices. They dominate the elected offices from national to state levels. I don't know about local. I don't know if anybody has done that breakdown. But they have elected offices. They dominate there. But they got nothing else. This is all they have. They don't even have the courts. <laughs> Although, you know, interestingly, that, that ruling recently in which the uh, uh, Supreme Court basically said, hey, states, go ahead and tax online businesses you know fuck over small businesses trying to make it in the digital world go ahead fuck them over yeah that was actually uh i mean there were some splits john roberts is a conservative who 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 dissented but it was it was largely the left who voted against it and it was the so-called conservatives you know the no taxation people the small government conservatives who voted for this shit so yeah, just just keep that in mind. Don't you know if you, if you're a status leftist and you think I'm being too harsh on you, trust me, I got a lot of shit to say to the fucking right. So I look at this from that angle of oh man, oh it did, oh it just I can't stand self righteousness. I can't stand it. It it bothers me to no end. It's like the priest who stands before the 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 crowd and he and he berates the the woman who had an affair while he's fucking 12 year olds. You know? It's like that kind of piss me off when I see this. But yet but yet I have to say there's 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 something going on here that even though it pisses me off to see the left reacting as it is, even though I know they're fucking lying, I know they're 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 hyperventilating, they're, they're overemphasizing everything, they're making everything ten times worse than it is, and it's terrible, terrible climate. It's it's filling people with hatred, but yet, and and this is where I think why I think Nancy Pelosi responded the way she did. There's a precedent being set here. That if you're an anarchist, if you're a libertarian, this is not a bad precedent that's being set. 
Now, if you're a statist, and yes, you leftist fucking statist, I'm talking to you. If you're a statist, there's no way in hell that you support what the left is doing right now to the right. How they are, they're, 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 they're taking on a measure of incivility that is fundamentally challenging political politeness. And you need political politeness. If you're gonna if you're gonna continue the whole rule of law myth, you need that political polite, politeness big time. You lose that political politeness, man. <laughs> that fucking rule of law myth just it hitchhikes its way back to Somalia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fucking heading to Somalia now. So <laughs> what they're doing here is is they're personalizing politics and this from my perspective this is this is the conflicted part this is the part that i like they're personalizing politics they're putting names and faces to policies to actions just following orders well who the fuck is following orders what's your name where do you live this is what libertarians talk about all the time. This is like one of the best ways to, to self-govern without using coercion is the whole social shaming thing. That's what they're doing. Now, now don't get me wrong. There's a bunch of statist fucking leftists that are doing it. So fuck them. Still, fuck them. But it is setting a, a precedent. It's, it's putting something in people's heads, which is a good thing. Which, I'm like, do I just sit back and, like, just berate the left? Or do I not say anything at all? Or do I uh, maybe in some subtle way kind of encourage it? I don't know. I haven't fully come up with an answer to that. But I got to say, sitting back and watching uh, people showing up at people's front doors and, and holding them to account, I mean... <laughs> You say the United States of America. You know, this is something that's been bothering me. When I see China has decided to do this and United States has decided to do this. And, you know, fuck that. I don't want to see China decided to do this. I want to know the fucker's name. Okay? What was the asshole that decided that? When you say the United States policy is this. No, no, no. There was a few little number of fucking assholes that got together and said this is their policy no it wasn't the there is no such thing as the united states it's only individuals act no the united states has never acted only the individuals have acted and i'd love to know exactly who those fucking individuals are united states policy is decided to uh support uh yeah support people who kept people's heads off for not being the right kind of muslims because they want to take assad down because he's the wrong kind of bad we're going to support the right kind of bad. No, no, no. That's not United States policy. Those are specific individuals who decided to do that shit. Yeah, I want to know who they are. I want to know where they fucking live. <laughs> when somebody's dropping bombs and killing children with my fucking money, I don't want to hear the United States did it. I want to hear Bob Wilson at 22 Sunbury Lane in in Trenton, New Jersey. He's the fucker who decided it. Okay, I might want to have some words with Bob. I mean... <laughs> The, the, the One of the greatest protections that this coercive enterprise has is anonymity, is, is unaccountability. And this therein lies the problem with the, the status left. They have, they're, they're trying to, uh, I believe that, well, they've been using Saul Alinsky's rules like ridiculously wrong for, 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 for decades. Uh, but... They're using some of his rules, and, you know, one of his rules is, you know, to isolate, alienate, and demonize the enemy. And, yes, showing up at somebody's house and, and yelling that you're a murderer or whatever, you know, I mean, that's part of it. The problem is that you're trying to isolate and demonize and alienate half the fucking country. You're trying to isolate, alienate, and demonize at least, maybe more, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to just say at least 150 million people. Good fucking luck with that. 
good, good fucking luck with that. But it, it also, again, it's setting this precedent of direct accountability for the choices that you make to use the implements of the state. That That's a powerful precedent that people are setting right now. And it's a precedent that the progressives, the statist progressives, can ill afford to see become reality. So they have this, they're following the Alinsky tactics, but at the same hand, by following the Alinsky tactics, even though they're following them totally fucked up ways, they're really not following Alinsky. They're just like taking like parts of Alinsky and not whole of Alinsky. Uh, in, in so doing, they're creating a precedent that undermines the very mechanisms that they created, starting with Woodrow fucking Wilson. By the way, when you say Woodrow fucking Wilson, you should always add a fucking in the middle of that. Woodrow fucking Wilson. Not If you say Woodrow, I can't even say it. I can't just say Woodrow fuck. I, I, I got to say Woodrow fucking Wilson. But if you say it without the fuck, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, starting with uh, Wilson and and uh, you know the election of 1912 with, between Wilson and Roosevelt, it was it was really an election between two statist progressives who both had the same thing in mind. They were going to create the hive, and the hive is that you have direct elections of the you know of the people. You know, got to do away with any. As much as possible, more and more, even even the uh, the outer appearance of republicanism, uh, you, you need to you need to make it appear to be more of a direct represental rep, direct representative democracy as opposed to more of a republic. And so, uh, you know, the the Seventeenth Amendment it does away with the Senate, uh, the state senates electing the senators, and now the people elect the senators directly. So you got that direct accountability so-called direct accountability. And it creates the illusion of, uh, you know, we the people, it's the people. The people are smart. They should be able to select their leaders on one hand. And then on the other hand, you have the regulators. And see, that's the real sweetness, man. The re the regulators, the bureaucrats, that's where the, f that's where the fucking sausage gets made, folks. And the regulators and the bureaucrats, you know who the fuck they are. <laughs> you don't know their names. You don't know where they live. That's the United States of America. That's not... That's not Bob Smith. That's the United States of America. That's not Judy Wilson. That's the United States of fucking America. And and that's the way it's designed. That's the progressive model which we're all living in. Yeah, you, know, you, you say progressives, conservatives, fucking fucking bullshit. No conservatives fundamentally talking about doing away with the progressive government model that the United States of America is is now under no no one no no conservative well I'll, I'll say no conservative of note and and no conservatives who have any sort of power are making any real effort to change that so uh <laughs> the reality is this is progressivism america is a progressive nation state don't kid yourselves that's what it is and and it is designed to have that that easily manipulated emotional accountability of of you get to choose between two people from two parties, both of which are kind of in on it. You know what I'm saying? In on it. Uh, and 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 you're and you're picking people based on their fucking hairstyles and you know their their teeth and uh, uh, you know their attractiveness and their their charismatic qualities. They're not leaders per se. They're not. They're not deep thinkers. They're. They're. I mean, some every once in a while, some are, but by and large, not deep thinkers. They're not leaders. You're. You're. You're picking people. Sometimes you're picking people just because they have a name of of a famous family. <laughs> that's fucking democracy. That's that's unaccountable democracy. That's representation representative democracy. And 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 then on the other hand, you have behind the curtain the regulators. The bureaucrats, the policymakers that are making all decisions, the ones that are deciding what the laws mean and 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 how the laws have to change from year to year based on whatever whatever comes up. So the progressive left coming after these folks the way that they are, again, 
on one hand, I see the, the self-righteous priest berating the poor woman in the front who had an affair, you know, damning her to hell. And then afterwards, going behind the curtain and, uh, you know, fucking a 12-year-old. Uh, and that part just makes my eyes bulge out of my head. I'm like, shut up, you motherfucking fuck bucks. Yeah, the fuck bucks. But then on the other hand, <laughs> this is a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's kind of a beautiful thing. They're, they're fundamentally undoing their own design. And they're kind of caught in a position where, I mean, they, 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 they whip their people up, man. I don't know if Nancy Pelosi coming out and saying, hold on, everybody, everybody, let's calm down here. Let's cool our jets. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know. I don't know the degree to which the left is totally controlled or not controlled. I imagine to a certain degree they are controlled, but. Yeah, um, when you when you bring groups together and you empower them, uh, sometimes what happens is the more radical elements. Uh, when you say stop, they say, "No, nah, man, no, nah, we ain't stopping." <laughs> and I'll respond to Tayagananda uh, Swaraj. Ty's an awesome dude. If you're not friends with him, you should be. He says, "I have a feeling that the bashing coming from the status left is a distraction." of a growing police state because attention was going towards ICE checking on buses and trains and IDing people, but also a distraction from the wars in the Middle East like Syria and others. I think it is a big game somehow, and Trump is the perfect candidate for the distraction. Trippy stuff. I, I don't know. That, that's possible. I don't know. There's so many moving parts here, and a, a, lot, of these, uh, you know, a lot of these folks are kind of mesh thinkers. Uh, I mean, the, the folks at the highest levels of planning. And a mesh thinker is someone who you look at your action and all of the different spheres that that action could influence. And you try to maximize your action to influence as many spheres the way that you want to as possible. So you could see multi-purpose action going on here. But I don't think that it is in the best interest of the status left to allow the their 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 rank and file file followers to to continue to hold direct accountability to the bureaucrats i i think that really undermines their progressive government business model so i don't i don't know what they're going to do about that i i i don't really think that they need to do that part ty to continue, because even before they started doing that, you had the, the mainstream media. I mean, I don't watch the MSM, okay? I don't watch Fox News. I don't watch MSNBC. I don't watch CNN. And it's not like, I'm not being self-righteous. I'm not saying, oh, you shouldn't watch them. Although I think you're an idiot, uh, subjectively, if you do. But I can't watch them. Because if I watch them for, for more than three or four minutes... I, I definitely want to throw a brick through the fucking screen. Or if I'm watching on my phone, I want to I wanna, I wanna throw my phone into the lake and never see it again. Because I, I just can't stand it. I can't stand any of them. I just, I can hear the lies. I, it's, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. But from, from what I've seen, you know, what I see end up on, I see YouTube. I see little clips here and there. And that kind of tells me to some degree what's going on with the MSM. And my understanding is it's every, it's every fucking day. It's, it's, it's every minute of every day. Trump is literally worse than Hitler. Trump is Trump invented cancer and he's impregnating six year old children with cancer. That's, that's what they're doing every single fucking minute of the day. And I don't, I don't think that's an accident. I don't I don't think that they really believe I don't think they believe a tenth of the shit that they're putting out. I don't think they believe 90% of the shit that they're putting out there. Let's just I've got that in reverse. I don't think they believe 90% of the shit they're putting out there. They're they're running on an agenda and the agenda is to absolutely destroy the resistance to whatever it is that they're fucking building. And to distract, yeah, to distract from what's really, because the, 
like I said, the, the state of unstate face left still controls the bureaucracy at the state and national levels. And I strongly suspect even at the local levels, it, it's I mean, who the hell wants to really be uh, someone that like like, you know, somebody codes who wants to be a codes enforcer? Really? Who wants to go around and like try to find out? Like how to get your neighbors in trouble, how to cost your neighbors more fucking money for codes violations, 90% of which are total fucking BS that don't really help anyone, don't make anyone safe. I mean, some codes may make, might make, make people safe, but uh, who wants that job? Some, some, some busybody fucking idiot who, who likes to mess people's shit up. You know, it's it's the woman who calls the cops on the kid because they're selling water. It's those kinds of people. And, yeah, if conservatives have those kinds of people, it, certainly they do. But uh, I would say progressives have way more of them. So, naturally, bureaucracy gets filled up with progressive idiots. And so, shit's still going on, folks. Shit is still going on. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to address right now like what's really going on. All that I'm addressing in this little rant here is is this this very narrow thing, which is that the left has decided to 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 go directly after the the bureaucrats, the ones that are making the real decisions, that are taking the real actions, the the people behind the curtains. You notice. Notice that they're not necessarily calling people to show up at the representatives' houses <laughs> and uh, the senators' houses, although that's that's probably coming. Uh, <laughs> they're going after the bureaucrats, and uh, and you know, again, like I said, I see the priest, self righteous priest, and then I also see, holy crap, you guys are showing everyone how how truly feckless. The United States government really is if people decide to actually hold individuals, bureaucrats, regulators directly accountable for the nasty shit that they decide to do. Well, it's just the law. Fuck that. You decided to be an asshole. And for that, you should be held directly accountable for being a fucking asshole. No law should shield, there should be no asshole shield ruling. There's no asshole shield ruling. If you're an asshole, even if you're following an asshole law that requires you to be an asshole, you're still a fucking asshole. And as such, yeah, uh, cops that decide that, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to shake down uh, people for, for doing shit that doesn't harm others. Because it's the law for whatever it is, whether it's uh, speeding or uh, uh, possession of plants that the government doesn't think you should possess and use if you want to use the way you want to use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, I think they should be held accountable. I don't think that you should you should fellowship with them. I, you know, if you're if you're involved in a soccer league and 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 one of the people there is is a cop that you and I'll I'll just say just uh, I don't I don't, I'll just say this just for the sake of argument I'll just say you know you know for a fact okay that he's a cop okay we can argue whether there's any such thing as a good cop or a bad cop I'm going to argue that being a cop in and of itself is a bad thing but but just put that aside for a second let's just let's just establish this standard you know for a fact that this is a cop that that has decided that he or she uh, is going to 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 basically put someone that they have already that they've saw to it that someone was put into a cage or threatened with being put into a cage if they didn't pay up or whatever the case might be uh, o over something that they didn't they didn't directly harm others. Yeah, I'd say you know what. If, as long as that guy or that gal is a part of this soccer league, I'm not part of it. I ain't associating with that because that person has decided to be an asshole. That's that's you know what? This is asshole law number one. If someone's an asshole, even the name of the state 
even in the name of just following orders. Yeah, treat them like the fucking asshole that they are. Shun them. Turn away from them. Don't let them eat in your restaurant. Oh, hells yes. Don't let them eat in your restaurant. Don't do that shit. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, State of Unstate Face Leftists, for helping others see that, that this is a thing which can be done. You can actually hold these bureaucrats directly accountable where they live for the shit that they do. Now, I know full well that the moment that the right decides to do the same to the left, that the media, the MSM, well, when it comes to what the left did, they'll call that, you know, protest. Just democracy in action, protest. But if the right does it, it won't be protest. It won't be democracy in action. It'll be fucking terrorism. They're, they're committing terrorist attacks. They, they don't even care. They, they don't even hide it. They don't even hide the lies and the hypocrisy. And they, they don't. But, but for the, the casual viewer, uh, even the state of, state of the state face casual viewer, yeah, you're seeing something here. Pay attention. You're seeing what it looks like when bureaucrats have to actually face the consequences of their actions. I'd like to see this more and more. I, I love this. I, 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 except for the fact that it's a priest standing up there, you know, berating the woman who had the uh, affair while he's fucking 12 years old. So outside of that, uh, I love it. I love seeing this happen. Uh, I just wish it was, I just wish it was being done by people who recognize that, that both the left and the right are fuck faces. Excuse my French. And there you have it. I, I think that's it. That's it. I don't know if I have anything more to say about this. Anybody's watching. If you have a question, this will be the time to ask it. Otherwise I, I think I'm going to shut this pony down and go on my merry way. And you'll see hit with a brick podcast whenever I feel like throwing fucking bricks. And I don't know. Maybe see two or three some weeks and maybe it'll be like a month before you see another one. I don't know. But this is this is gonna be my venue where I don't care. I'm not I'm not trying to win friends. I'm not trying to market. I'm not trying to build a fucking audience, although I'm not against any of that. And I'm doing that to some degree with some of the shows that I do, but not this one. Nope. This is just fuck all and be all, man. Whatever. Every I, I I'm I'm pissed off a lot of fucking things. And so this is my pissed off show. This is what you get. So thank you everyone who has watched. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure you subscribe to the iState YouTube channel. There will be at some point a regular podcast which will be a little bit friendlier than this. <laughs> and then if you like this, this'll also appear too. Everybody else, have a great rest of your day. I'm out of 6,000.